one one of the other things is um, someone's they've taken their ASVAB and they didn't get as high of a score for that they wanted to be able to do a specific type of rating. Should they wait be- before joining the Coast Guard or should they be joining regardless if they uh, didn't get the score that they needed for that particular rating? I'm always gonna I'm always gonna leave it up to the applicant, but I'm gonna pro and con it, help them pro and con it. Here's the pros. You don't need to be in that rating right now. You can you can most people don't go directly into a rating in the Coast Guard. And I think that's a benefit. Most people that go to college don't finish up in the degree field that they went in the first place for. They change their major. It's very similar in the Coast Guard. You're not restricted to anything it's kind of like getting your general studies out of the way first and seeing behind the curtain seeing what's available out there and making a more informed decision on what rate you're going to go i think that's a plus whereas a lot of the other services uh, you know you go through that assembly line maybe and up oh, here's your asvab score you can be a tank driver or you can be an infantryman pick one and that's it we you don't have to pick you don't have to pick in the coast Guard. You know, most people don't. It's very few ratings that we can offer straight up like that. I think that's a benefit. And my advice to somebody that had a score that qualified to be in the Coast Guard, but not their rating, just get in the Coast Guard. You'll have more resources available to you. You might change your mind and you're not locked in. You'll have, you'll start your pay time towards retirement, time towards longevity pay. You'll get some of that general stuff out of the way, some of the general qualifications, and you'll get the experience to better inform your decision. Um, And then you'll have the resources to bring your ASVAB score up too. You'll have an education service officer. You'll have all these things available to to you that you might not have, have as a civilian to get that score up. My advice would be weigh your options, the pluses and cons, the con, the plus would be you're in the Coast Guard. You have all these resources. The con, you're not in the Coast Guard, and we are going to take the last test score that you did. We have to. So you're running that risk of getting a worse test score and not being eligible to join the Coast Guard now. I might take, take, you're qualified. That's, that's what matters. Use that as your ticket in, and then – you're not going to get unqualified and they're not going to kick you out for getting a lower ASVAB score once you're in uniform. It's not going to happen. You just keep retesting. And there's nothing wrong with serving your country for four years and not going to an A school. There, there really isn't. You earn your benefits. And now you have all these additional resources to go to college, whatever the case might be, and, and veterans, of, veterans benefits 